got the uh, new pop-up behind me. I'm taking it back to put um, the racks on top so that I can put the kayaks on it. All right, no trailer yet. They got the rack in and they went to start and the rack was missing the four uprights. They're gonna get one tomorrow and hopefully that um, comes with the rest of the pieces. I just went and got the trailer and I just went ahead and bought the rack and didn't have them install it. And as you can see, there's already one bar on. I don't think I did too awful bad. Um, it's a little close to the AC. So it is touching the little cover of the AC just slightly, but that's fine. I measured it out and I guess, uh, I guess it was just closer than I thought. It's done. All right, I did my running. I'm completely unprepared, but I'll have a kayak and a pop-up and some beer. Well, it wasn't the easiest thing, but it's up there, so it'll get better. My actual thought is that I just slide it off into the truck and then use the truck as like a go-between when I'm loading and unloading, but we'll see. Otherwise, it's up. That ain't going anywhere. <laughs> All right, I stopped in Tipton at the 5 and 50 drive-in. We used to stop here uh, when I'd come down to the lake with my grandparents, uh, depending on which way we took. Uh, Grandpa had a few different routes that we'd go, so here I am, got my burger. Grandpa always wanted ice cream from here. But I was just not ice cream feeling, but man, this burger looks dang good looks look at that look at that thing so this is when it gets good it just smells awesome i love the smell down here i don't know if it's the gravel or the soil or what but it's just awesome it just feels like being a kid again Every time I get down to those arcs, I love it. All right, it's all set up. Um, totally doable with one person. Took me quite a while. It's the first time doing the awning. And the awning took me way longer than I expected. So otherwise, it's freaking great. Um, I didn't get an electric site because I had planned to tent camp and it was a lot more money to... One, add the electric and also change the reservation. So I am still here. I would actually turn the AC on for a minute because I'm hot from doing all that, but it is gorgeous. So the view from the back bunk. This came with this uh, AC DC uh, fridge. It's like cooler style, it slides under and it comes with a 12 volt like car adapter. Um, I was excited about that because it's easy to move and we can take it out and like pre-chill it inside and then plug it in. So I'll show you. So this is where the bridge goes. There's a 12 volt port right here. So I plugged it in, it started up, immediately died. And I was like, great, the fridge is dead. Let that hold up. No, it's not. So I come down here to the fuse panel. And then it has this one that is like a battery, refrigerator, solar USB. Okay. Great. 30 amp. The fridge has a 15 amp breaker on it. That's going to be great. So I go ahead and look inside just thinking what's behind this. And this on this 12 volt has a 2 amp breaker. Okay. Great. This one's easy to get to. I just move the cushions and and get into it. All right, so I'm kind of frustrated, like I can't even use this thing. And so I look in here and look up here, under here. This is the cubby where the fridge goes. I'm gonna 
zoom in. All right. This is the cubby where the fridge goes. Sweet. There's a 12 volt port right there. Surely, surely that 12 volt port right by the fridge is for the fridge. No, it isn't. Because as soon as I plugged it in, it popped the fuse. So I assume when I reach in there, I'm gonna find another fuse holder with a two amp fuse in it. It really should have come with a place to plug it in. I know like you can plug to shore power and the AC works, but it's a DC fridge. It's an AC DC fridge. Why wasn't this thought of? So now I gotta find a 12 volt to just wire up my damn self, which sucks. It should have come like that. All right, well, I have basically no plan. I didn't even touch the water today. Just do what it is. I'm just gonna hang out here and enjoy the uh, camping experience. I did not pay a lot of attention that these are 12 and percent alcohol. I'm about done with this one and I'm a little, little head spinny. So I'm gonna sit here finish this, drink a water, plan out the rest of my night. So I went ahead and got that other fuse for the 12 volt outlet because the heater wasn't turning on. I thought maybe they were related. Um, the labels on the fuses are not even close, not even close to right. The one that's marked for the water pump, I can take it out and the water pump still runs. So I don't know how any of this is wired up. The manual says to turn the thermostat up and wait. But if I recall before, I turned it on and then I heard the fan. So I'm gonna wait it out for a few minutes, but I'm kind of frustrated right now. I've had to open this thing up multiple times and it's the first trip i'm like frustrated i i was gonna do a dry run of everything like wednesday night thursday during the day but because of the rack i didn't do that and so i just assumed it's a new trailer so stuff would work so far i've got no fridge because the fridge is too big for the breaker that's put in not the breaker the fuse i have nowhere to plug the fridge in and I apparently have no heat, which is kind of critical because I did not plan for no heat. I planned for a fridge and heat. And as of right now, I've got neither fridge nor heat. <laughs> Lost a second fast, another large one. The same bait presentation. So I'm gonna stick in. I'm gonna change my stuff.
fine. It didn't go like I really wanted. I only caught one fish um, partway through the day. It got really windy, really rainy, and I was just kind of over it. I wasn't catching on to any fish. I wasn't getting a consistent bite. Um, and the one I did get was only a 12 inch. And I had three others that were like a bit and were on, but I lost them. Uh, I don't know why. Um, I'm going to attribute this to, I haven't been fishing. I mean, I have not been on a kayak. I've not had a rod in my hand pretty much since the last tournament I fished. So, I mean, that's just on me. I just need to prepare more and do better. Overall, I am happy with how I finished. So my goal this year was top half angler of the year. Um, I was very near top quarter. Um, it was 25.5%, so missed it by, missed it by 0 0.5, but I'm happy with how that went. I've learned a lot this year. The camper's gonna help. I need to take more time. I need to leave Thursday night set up, actually pre-fish a little Friday. Um, doing the research helps. Anyway, that wraps up 2023.